and um, you know, and, and that's just kind of the way that we do. But like I said, it's the the juice of that meat dropping on those coals to impart that little flavor on there. You just you just can't make that. You, you can't do that on any th- other thing. Well, Whether you're I, cooking on oak or mesquite or mixed hardwoods, um, it's just the best flavor. And I feel like I'm baiting you a little bit, but you guys have a Santa Maria grill coming out, right? We do. So, we do. That's, so that's the right pit to use. So talk a little bit about, about that Santa Maria pit and how to crush fajitas on it. So the Santa Maria is just such a very unique piece out there in the market, I think, right now because of the fact that it's very modular. Um, but again, like I said, because it's based off of my live fire table, we're able to utilize all our live fire accessories with it. Um, it also can be a standalone. So if you don't have a live fire table, you can just get the Santa Maria and we can put that on a built in or, you know, whatever you want. But, you know, burning coal, burning wood, burning whatever you want, you know, it, there's once people do live fire, it's it's so addicting. It's nuts. Yeah. So if you were going to rock those fajitas out, you're going to start low and get that char first and then raise the coal bed or what's your take on how to get the best flavor and color out of those fajitas well now everybody knows about this reverse sear so we kind of do the same principle right we get them just enough out of that heat but we still get that that smoke and everything else kind of wafting on them and then right when we're about there you know me i like to take them up to you know about the 110 ish range and then after that, I want to crank that thing right down in the coals, and I just want to I want to make sure that I get those things nice and charred, but not push them over 130. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Well, you've got so much going on. You've got the charcoal. You've got your second line of extruded products. You're bringing out the Santa Maria Grill. It is all just awesome stuff. So thank you so much for being on, Joey. Don't forget to head on over to TexasOriginalCharcoal.com or follow Joey's cross-country travels via Instagram with his handle at JoeyMachado.BBQ. And you can also follow him on Facebook or Instagram via the handle at TexasOriginalCharcoal. Coming up next, T-Bone and I will be talking about how to bone up your arsenal for Memorial Day right here on Barbecue Radio Network. They're advertising with us. You have a better recipe for when you grill. Better ingredients, better cuts of meat, and because you're using a grill from Holstein Manufacturing, well, a better grill. You take grilling seriously, and at Holstein Manufacturing, we make a serious grill. Find your new grill now at HolsteinMFG.com. We build a grill, Holstein Manufacturing. Holstein Manufacturing, we build a grill. I'm probably okay to have one more drink before I drive home. I'm probably okay. I open the window to stay alert. Probably okay. I just pop some gum in my mouth. Step out of the car, please. I probably made a mistake. Probably okay isn't okay when it comes to drinking and driving. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Here in my country, we're committed to bringing you a better brand of country. If you're a fan of Jason Aldean, Kelsey Ballerini, or Luke Combs, we have what you're looking for. If you're a fan of red dirt artists like John Storm, Kylie Fry, and William Clark Green, we play that too. You may like big hits from Tim McGraw, Martina McBride, and Brooks and Dunn. We play those artists as well. You can listen live on your radio, stream us online, or listen on our free mobile app. It's available in your app store. This is my country, a better brand of country. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. cool. You're having a good time. My Country 99.5. You Radio Network. This segment is brought to you by Holstein Manufacturing. Check them out at HolsteinMFG.com. They have NSF certified cookers and grills. And, of course, my favorite, the corn roasters. And don't forget... They have awesome mobile event and catering rigs as well. Check them out at HolsteinMFG.com. So, T-Bone, I think our network is growing. Oh, always, always growing. We, we have a couple new stations in West Virginia. Wow. Hi. To add to the yes. three that are already there. But we're going to move Hi. up a little bit north into Charleston. Nice. Which is actually Hi. the capital of West Virginia. 
So we want to welcome our new affiliate, WSCW in West Virginia. That's Charleston, West Virginia. And they are broadcasting Barbecue Radio Network every Saturday at 1 p.m. on their AM dial, 1410. Also on FM 102.3. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us and being part of the Barbecue Radio Network. Well, it is time now to talk a little bit about what the discussion we just had was. Like, I'm I'm still trying to rack my brain around all of the charcoal talk, but, you know, what was, uh, what was the key takeaway for you, Tebow? Actually, it was the thing where I, I haven't had, I have not found rocks oh, in, are you kidding in, in, me? in my charcoal bag. That would just freak me out. So I, I, I wouldn't buy them again. I, I will tell you that when they pick up the charcoal and bag it, they typically are using like a front end loader or a skid loader, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And so they, they've they got these big chutes that have the, the bags under them. Uh, sometimes they're burlap. Sometimes it's a line that actually has the paper bag that has a air thing that blows it open. But when they lift that, they're usually in some type of a, of a feed channel. And so you'll get some of the gravel and stuff from the bottom of that that drop into the bag. And the ones that really just don't care just drop everything in one big pile, and you get more of that. But the stuff that bothered me the most was when I saw trim pieces in the charcoal bag. <laughs> so they chart it, right? It's, it's charcoal. They burn the wood and vac it down so that it becomes charcoal. And we'll have to talk to... Joey about the, the the actual process by which they make the charcoal because that's a whole nother conversation that's super interesting. We'll have that the next time he's on. But you know the that that process they can do it on any piece of wood. So some places will just buy all the trim out of a of a mill that's like making trim pieces for your house and they just char them and put them in the bag and so you'll get a piece of quarter round trim or a piece of window or door trim with a finished nail sticking out of it no no I, i've never seen that but i've seen pieces of trim and then what wh where my mind goes is was that unfinished had it been sprayed with anything prior like, oh yeah. it should all be it should all be unfinished when it hits that bag but you know i don't want to see that in there i want you know good kiln dried oak that was properly uh, charred and taken to the right texture and finish so that I get a good consistent cook every time out of it. That's really what it comes down to and you look at a premium charcoal and there's several out there. He mentioned a couple of them but I'll tell you that that gives you a much better experience. Uh, well, I, I've known Joey for a couple of years. Uh, first met him at Memphis in May and um, he takes this stuff serious. Oh yeah, and and just by his reputation alone, if you see a bag of Texas Original at the store or something, pick it up and check it out. Yeah, he's he's a hundred percent about quality. He's not a uh, he's not cutting corners and doing anything the wrong way. I can tell you that. Right. So yeah, good to, good to have a good chat with him. Well, it's time for our All Things Barbecue Product Spotlight. Uh, their website is atbbq.com. All Things Barbecue has all the tools and accessories you need to take your barbecue to the next level. So get fired up and get the supplies to do it at All Things Barbecue, good old atbbq.com. So what do you have for us, T-Bone, from a product to spotlight this week? I am talking to those people who do not yet have a smoker, but they want that smoky goodness. Well on their bar and and that's what this is built for this is the all things barbecue amazing tube smoker starter kit you get everything you need to start adding flavor to your food because that's what the smoke is it's another seasoning it's not about heat and it expands from seven inches to 12 inches it's 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 a nice very durable tube and don't don't get that smirk on your face. <laughs> I don't, How durable just, is it? Just as long as you don't say anything. How durable is it? No, I was not going to say anything. I don't know why you would. But but you can use it in in your gas grill and everything. It virtually puts off no heat. It's it's all about smoke. So you can also do cold smoking in it. Your cheeses and things like that. I was just going to say my favorite thing to use that amazing smoke tube for is I turn on my. YS640S just flip the switch on and that turns the fan on so that you know that the unit is is up and running 
and that fan will oh, create yeah. just enough airflow to move smoke through the chamber, and I'll light my amazing tube, blow that out, and let it do its smolder that it does, and you can smoke salt, nuts, cheese, anything you want, and you get a nice, even, clean smoke on your product because that smoke tube will just pull it right through the chamber, uh, that yoder with the fan running. And you don't have to run your firebox in the yoder, so you don't get any heat from that. So you can smoke at a very low temperature. That sounds like a beautiful thing. Now, you can get the Amazing Tube separately, but this is a, this is a package deal. And what you get with this are three one-pound bags of Barbecuer's Delight flavor wood pellets. You get pecan, a, a favorite of a lot of people. Absolutely. And what do we mix with pecan? Cherry. That's right. Another pound of cherry. And if you're feeling adventurous, a one-pound bag of Jack Daniels. Ooh. Old number seven oak wood pellets. So those pellets, I believe, are made from the barrels that the uh, whiskey, whiskey has been in. <laughs> so, so I think they take the barrel staves and grind those and produce I, pellets out of them. That's what I've heard. So, Well, there's also a Jack Daniels charcoal pellet, which is made from the charcoal that they use to mellow the whiskey with. But I think oh, what is in yeah. that bag is actually the barrel staves that have been uh, milled down and turned into pellets oh, after their barrels. Because they get rid of those barrels after they've used them, right? Hey, so, yeah. and, and this package is only thirty nine ninety five. I mean, it, it, you're getting some value here. But yeah. the cool thing is you'll get to play with different flavors of pellets and you'll see what it does to the flavor of the meat and also the color. Uh, and so I would suggest if you're going to throw those in your gas grill and play with it, do a, a chicken breast or a pork chop and run the pecan once and then run the cherry. And you'll notice uh, a, a more golden, uh, browner color, mahogany color out of the pecan. And you'll notice that really deep, richer red mahogany color out of the cherry pellets. And you'll also get a little bit different smoke flavor, too. Then you can start to blend and play. And so now you're smoking. Cool. Yeah, and now you're smoking. So check that out at their website over at www.atbbq.com. 